Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good Hello, evening. teacher. Hi, Sam. Hello. Hey, teacher. Hello. Yes, sir. The, the pronunciation, the compañeros, ¿cómo, cómo se dice? What? What pronunciation? Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia a compañeros? Ah, eh, classmates. ¿Cómo? Classmates. Classmates. Mm -hmm. Yes. Para saludar sería, hello, good evening, classmate. Yeah, you can say that. You can just say, uh, good, good evening, everybody. It's more common. <clears throat> okay, so this is the video we were watching last night, okay, the, the one about the bird to be with negative statements and yes, no questions. We are going to watch the video again to you not know, to refresh what we were doing. And after we are going to do the exercise. Okay. Now listen, pay attention. Hi everyone. To the In this class, you learn how okay? to form negative statements and yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. <clears throat> the example above, when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say I'm not from New York rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now let me talk about making questions would be. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. 
No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers, and then share them in our discussion forums. Okay, so this one, and these are the examples that we wrote. Remember yesterday, I was telling you about the verb to be, and when you have to use the first person, I am, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are, right? So we're gonna use, we're going to use, for example, you are, he is, in affirmative sentences, I am a teacher. Um, I am not an architect. Okay, you say, for example, you are you are a waiter. <laughs> you are not a bartender. Okay, or you can use this one. Also, you're not manager, okay? Then you have affirmative and negative. Now, if you see in the platform, we have um, this exercise in the following section. Okay, here we have to use the verb to be, is or are, in the answer or in the question, okay? Uh, Hiroshi, okay, Hiroshi and you and Michael, okay? Let's say for example, here you have are. Hiroshi, okay, this is the one who speaks. He say, are you and Michael from Japan? This is the conversation, right? Hiroshi, are you and Michael from Japan? Yes, we. What is the verb that we are supposed to use here? Is, am, or are? Yes, Milagro? Are. are. Okay, good. Thank you. Are, okay. Remember that uh, the, the box is uh, case sensitive, so you can use sometimes probably R, or you can use um, only with a capital letter at the beginning, R, or everything is small case, right? You can use R. Like this, okay? The next one. What's the question? Is, am, um, or are? Are. Yes, that's great, Jenny. Thank you. Are you? Are you from Tokyo? And then the answer is in negative, am plural. Just remember that you're talking about Michael. So what is the... So now, in bird that we, we are, it. yes, we are, not we are, say like we are. Yes, no, we are. Okay, don't, uh, don't forget to turn off the microphone. Okay, we are, the next one. Is. 
Uh -huh. Now we are from Kyoto. Mm. I, I from, I. I am. I am. Okay. What about this one, L Laura? Question. The question. Third person. Singular. Is. Yes, that's right. Is. Is Laura from the US? No. No what? Yes, Stacy. Yes. No, she's not. Okay. No, she's not. Okay, Jocelyn, what about this one? She from London. Is 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 she from London? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Oscar. Where, oh yes, Oscar. What about this one? Is she from London? Uh, number eight. Uh, no, no. Um, Así no veo las Sería el literal B, yes, sir. Yes. Oh, yes, she is. Yes. yes, she is correct. Okay, good. What about this one? Mirna, do you have this one? Not from UK, United Kingdom originally. I am. Mm, okay, let's try with I am. Could be. Okay, this one. Uh, let's see, Sam, Samuel. Yes. Here? It's a question. What, teacher? This one, what is the, the word that we should use here for the verb? Is, are, or am? Uh. Uh, um, listen the question. It's a, it is a question. Re repeat, please. Laura's first language Italian, this one. Then we have to use here is, am, um, or are. Are. Are Laura's? Uh, no, no, no. Es que es lo que le... El... It's um. Yes, yes. they have to use is. Okay, it's Laura's first language, Italian. Okay, because we're talking about the third person. Okay, in this case is she. Okay, we have more. No? No. It's not. No, it's not. Okay. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Yeah. She or I am? She. Is she? She. Okay, let's try. She is. She is. She is. Yes, okay. 
What about Selena and Carlos? Conversation three. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, Selena and Carlos from Mexico. No? It's not. Pluto, two. No, it's no. That's singular for objects. Plural, plural. Yeah. Remember the plural for third. Are you pronoun? Are. Yes. Are. That's... No, I know. And the pronoun? We. Yeah. We, you, they, he, she, it. Is. Is. They. They, uh -huh, they. They, they, they mm -hmm. are. Yes, that's correct. They are not. Okay, good. Thank you. They're. They are from. They are from Brazil. Okay, here. Are, 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 you, are, are you from Brazil? No? I am. Yes. No, I am not. Yeah. So. Is. Is. Your first name, is your first language Spanish? Yes. Is. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, yes. It is. yes, it is. Okay, now let's check what we have done. And then we will. Okay, so this is correct. This is correct. Okay, conversation three is correct. Uh, conversation two. Okay, we have two mistakes. Okay, the conversation one, we have one. Okay. So here we have to use plural. Yeah, we. We are. We are. Then. Yeah. No, it's correct, okay. Now the conversation two, this one is here. Uh, is Laura from the United States? No, she's not, she's from the UK. Is she from London? Yes, she is, but her parents are from Italy. Okay. This one? What about this one? Okay, the microphone, the microphone. Uh-huh. Is. Okay. Is. Is. She. Okay. She. Okay, and then we have, for example, here, uh, she's not from the UK. Laura's first language, Italian. No, ah, okay, no, it's not. Maybe we have to use it's. So we're talking about the language. Aquí estamos hablando del idioma, right? Okay. Um, Hay un micrófono encendido. Okay, thank you. Now, you see now this one? Oh my God, what about this one? Yes, she is, but her parents. Okay, here we have to use. They are. Yes. You can use the contraction. No más no acepta la la contracción. And then we have 
Yes, they are, right? The parents. Now you can use their, okay, contractor. Okay, no problem. Remember that uh, there are three conversations, okay? And then you have to follow the sequence, okay? This is one, conversation one. Okay, then you have, Hiroshi, are you in Michael from Japan? Yes, we are. Oh, are you from Tokyo? No, we are not. Uh, we are from Kyoto, right? From Kyoto, you can use that one. And then here you use, is Laura from, this is the second conversation. This is a second uh, one. So that this is for the number one. This is for the number two. And you finish here. Three conversations, right? Three different topics. Now questions? Preguntas? <clears throat> no, okay. Now we're going to continue with this one. Now, syllable stress. The syllable stress is, for example, where we, uh, let's say, make emphasis in the pronunciation. Okay? Now listen to this video and let's pay attention to the pronunciation, right? Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. Okay, remember that the stress is where we put, donde se pone la fuerza de voz, okay? Eh, si bien en inglés no hay tildes, okay? And then you have to use the intonation based on the stress, okay? Where, la, con la fuerza de voz. Now, Meaning. here we go. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only used in long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable. Okay, if you see, the stress is in the second syllable, right? 13. Va en la segunda sílaba. 13. Eh, una diferencia de las sílabas entre inglés y español es que eh, nuestro idioma es más, más de sílabas, okay? Es silabiado, right? Pero tenemos el silabario. Okay, todo es una consonante, vocal, consonante, vocal, consonante, vocal, okay? Entonces tenemos, por ejemplo, decimos eh, casa, casa, okay? Y decimos perro, gato, okay? Corazón, okay? You have three syllables. But here in English, si ven, hay, por ejemplo, dos vocales, third, perdón, Dos consonantes, una vocal y una consonante de per, teen, two syllables. Entonces, los que van con 13, del 13 al 14, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19. Okay, you're going to use? Va en la segunda, okay? You, Teacher. Yes, sir. Eh, como que se escucha un poquito más seco el, la pronunciación, así ahí logro entender yo. Eh, ok. Vea la, la siguiente donde dice el 30 al 40. 30, 30, 40, 50, 60, ok, 70, 80, 90. Yes. Yes. Oh, let me check. Let me tell you that I, uh, this one is queso. Okay, well, we have third. Thirteen, okay. Okay, here you say 13, 13, 13, 13, and the other one is 30, 30, 30. Okay, se ve la diferencia? Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me. La TH. El sonido que tiene es a T o es mu, anulamos la H. Like this. El sonido de la de la T H like eh, no se pronuncia bien entonces. Va como Z. Parecido a una Z. Ah, ok. 13. Ahora, no siempre es así, ¿verdad? Sí, por eso hay que ir, porque por ejemplo, 30. Ok. Eh, let me see. Okay, you have the, ha the house, okay, the house and the apple. Okay, hay como tres pronunciaciones más o menos acá, right? Here would be like the, algo similar al, al español, and the. Okay, 13, 13, the house and the apple. Okay, so the pronunciation va a haber en otros casos en que va a ser un poquito diferente, okay? Eso es solo para que no se queden solo con una información, right? Now this one you say thir, 13, 13. Si ven el, es, el estrés, la fuerza de voz va aquí en las letras que les puse más grandecitas, okay? 13, 30, ok, ¿cómo sería el 14 en inglés? Fourteen. What? 
Fourteen. 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 Yo sería cuarenta. Fourteen. 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 Fourteen.
102 Now is your turn to practice and record yourself on the website bookroo.com. After you record yourself, you will need to share the link on our discussion forums. Okay. Questions about the transition? I have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21. Then you have 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20. 28, 29, 30. One hundred one. One hundred one. One hundred two. One hundred two. One hundred three. One hundred three. Yes. The word end is in parentheses because it's not usually used. One hundred and one. One hundred and two. One hundred and three. One hundred three. 100, okay? That's 100, y volvemos acá, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120. 60. Okay? So then you're going to use the same numbers. Okay? So. You learn from one hundred, from zero to one hundred, and then you begin again with a number from one hundred one. Okay. Okay. Seventy. Seventy. Eighty. Eighty. Ninety. Ninety. One hundred. One hundred and one. One hundred. One hundred and two. 103. Now is your turn to practice and record yourself on the website bookroo.com. After you record yourself, you will need to share the link on our discussion forums. Okay. Okay, those are the numbers. I guess that we have now we're gonna practice with two questions. Okay, how, how old are you? You can say it all. Ah, uh, okay, I am, you can say 40 years old. Okay. 
¿Qué se entiende en esa pregunta? How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tiene? Yes, that's correct. That's in English, okay? How old are you? Tengo 40 años. Ajá. Okay, you can use that one. Yo que no, um, yo que no tengo la, la ñ. Here. Find one here. This one. Okay. And you say. Yeah. Okay, good. Recuerden que estas son preguntas así en inglés, no traducidas literalmente, ok? No traducir palabra por palabra, ok? Ahí sí no les va a funcionar, ok? Eh, la palabra old como adjetivo, tenemos new, ok, we have new, el tablero. New. Okay, then you have old. Old. Okay, and also you have new. Not old from like. Let's see. Yes. Okay, so that's the, the meaning, okay? But this is, if you use, a, if you say, for example, an old car, un carro viejo, right? An old car. En personas para no sonar tan eh, fuerte, se puede decir an old man. Un hombre mayor, right? An old woman. Una mujer mayor, right? O sea, así de usar bien, ¿ok? Y aquí, how old are you? Is... ¿Ok? Good. Y para responder, I am 40 years old. Oh. Yes. No problem? Okay. Then the other one is, for example, how many? How many days are there in a week? How many days are there in a week? How many days are there in a week? Um, yes. Yeah. How many? How many? Come up, teacher. Here's the question. How many? Here is. How many? Uh huh. ¿Cuántos años? ¿Cuántos días tiene la semana? Ajá. Seven. Ok, very good, Sam. Seven. There are seven days. There are seven days. In a week. Mira, esa mala que aparece in otra vez, pero como en la semana, no como dentro, right? In a week. Mm -hmm. in, a week. In, the work, in, in weeks. In a week. In, in, the, in a week. Mm -hmm. 
Ok, podemos decir how many they, uh, how many uh, fingers how many are there Open, in my hand. ¿Cuántos dedos tiene mi mano? Okay. Five. Five fingers. How many? Five? Okay. Good. You say there. Um, five fingers in my hand. Okay. Now. Y se puede quitar y en solo se puede poner my hand. ¿Cómo? Eh, siempre, eh, ese in my hand solo se podría, no se puede decir my, solo my hand. Solo my se hand. Escucha muy, se, se escucha, o sea, se escucha muy, muy así simple. Eh, no, pero es que no, si, si solo responde, how many fingers are there in my hand? Y usted dice my hand. Ajá. No, no, no. In my, como se le ha puesto in my hand, solo my hand. Léalo todo para, para entenderle qué es lo que, qué es lo que me quiere in decir. Qué, ¿Qué es lo que usted quisiera decir? ¿O cómo? No, solo, solo mi pregunta es si se le puede quitar el in. ¿Y decir, no. y decir qué? Eh, toda, la, toda la palabra que usted acaba de decir. Ajá, pues, léala, in. léala. There are, eh, are excuse me, teacher. Eh, there are five yo, fingers. Repita, uh, there are five fingers. My I hand. Think my, hand. my hand. My hand. Uh -huh. No, my no, hand. no. No, lo que le pongo ahí es la, digamos, la forma eh, completa. O sea, esto, porque esto es en mi mano. O sea, si quitamos el in, eh, si quitamos el in de acá. Entonces ya no tiene sentido la oración. Ajá, ajá, esa era mi consulta, nada más, esa era mi duda. Ok, there are five fingers, my hand, no. Como uh -huh. que le dijera, mire, hay cinco dedos mi mano, como que está hablando con mi mano. Muy, se escucha muy, muy contraída la, la, la respuesta. No, pierde sentido, pierde sentido la oración. Okay. Ajá. Ya, no significa, ya no tiene significado de la respuesta, para la respuesta de la pregunta. Ok, say how many fingers, aquí le faltará ese, are there in my hand, how many days. ¿Qué otra pregunta se puede hacer con how many significa cuántos? How many. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más okay. podríamos decir? How many. ¿Y solo how? ¿Qué significa? Ah. Solo how. ¿Cómo? Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Then, Se puede how decir many? How many uh, eyes in my face? Sigan in la misma idea. Face. Ajá, sigan la misma idea. Y esto, miren. Voy a borrar esto de acá. Entonces, tienen que, solo tienen que hacer es sustituir palabras Okay, how many eyes? Estamos hablando de plural, okay? Are, are there in uh, my face? Okay. Two. Two. Uh -huh. There uh -huh. are Acostumbres a usar, ahorita acostumbrémonos a usar las respuestas largas para practicar, ¿ok? There are two eyes. Ahora, si ustedes me responden o responden tú, está perfecto, no hay ningún problema, ¿ok? Se dice, hey, how many eyes are there in, your, in my face? Two, dos, ¿ok? No problem. Ok, ahorita por la práctica les estoy poniendo esta respuesta más larga. Ok, y para que vean la estructura. Si ven, por ejemplo, there are, 
Solo se, para la pregunta, solo se invierte el are y se dice are there. Ok. Por ejemplo, yo podría decir aquí. Are there seven days in a week? Are there seven days in a week? Yes, there are. Sí, hay. Okay, sí, hay siete días en la semana. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. Okay, y con esto podemos practicar los números, right? For example, how many days? Are there in a year? Okay, how many days are there in a year? Three. Respuesta larga. Mm, how many? Um, there. Mm -hmm. Are there? Uh, there. There are. Mm -hmm. uh, um, three, five, no, three, six, five. How do, say, how do you say 100 in English? 31. No. no, we say, for example, how do you say 100? 100 in English? 100. Then, 200? 200. 200. 300? 300. 300. 365 days. 365 days. In a year. Yes. Okay. There are 365 days in a year. 300. Yes. How many days are there? In a, in a decade. Ten. How many how many days are there in a decade? They are Ten. Ten years. Uh -huh. There are. There are. Ten years. Ten years. Okay. In a decade. Mm -hmm. Ten years. Right? Right. Good. How many? Seconds. How many seconds are there in two minutes? Sixteen. There are sixty minutes. No. There are. There are. There are 60 seconds. 60 seconds? In two minutes? In, in two minutes. Mm -hmm. In two minutes. One, one seven. Uh-huh. One seven. Okay, how many? How many seconds are there in, in one minute? Um, six. Six. Six, 60 seconds. In two six. minutes? Yeah. 
120. Okay, 120 minutes. Okay. Then you see, for example, how you can practice how many. Okay, good. For example, uh, you can use how old. Okay, practicing with a question. Oscar, how old are you? <coughs> How, How are, are, you? are you? Yes. Um, I'm fine. I am. Um, How old are you? No. How are you? How old are you? Okay. Yeah. I am uh, twenty-five. Oh. I am exactly twenty-five years old okay good then you say for example how are you how old are you how old how, are you how old how old are you how how old are you how old were you how how old you how are you? How old are you? How old are you? Vamos a ver, más o menos así suena. Vean el chat. How old are you? No. How old are you? No. How old are you? 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 How old you? How old are you? Vaya, acostúmbrense a pronunciar, o sea, unido, ¿ok? No, no, how are you? No, nadie habla así, ¿ok? Ese es how are you, how are you, ¿ok? How old are you? How old are you? Vaya, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer una prueba. Eh, solo Adela, how old are you? 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 How are you? How old are you? How old are you? How are you? No, después de mí, how, how, older, 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 how old are you, how are you, okay, how old are you, Okay, so how old are you? 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 Marta, how old are you? How old are you? Yes, how old are you? How old are you? Reina. How old are you? Yes, okay, there you go. Ya vamos bien. Pero es por la práctica, okay? Nelly? How old are you? How old are you?
Yes, Molly. Okay, Esperanza. How old are you? How old are you? Yes. How old are you? How old are you? Very good. Okay, nice. Milagro? How old are you? Very good. Blanca? How old are you? Más rápido. How old are you? How old are you? No haga la pausa, solo how old are you? How old are you? Then uh, we have who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, Jacqueline? How old, are, how, how old are you? Jacqueline, Jacqueline? How old are you? Jacqueline. Oh. Okay, Oscar, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Okay, Jenny. How old are you? How old are you? Very good, Daisy. How old are you? How old are you? Yes, Ivania. How old are you? Yeah. How old are you? Okay, Adela. How old are you? How old are you? Okay. How old are you? Okay, good. Yes, Adela, again. No más. How old are you? Yes, very good. Okay, perfect. You see, es cuestión de practical, okay? How old are you? 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 Y lo que sucede es esto, miren. How, how are you? Entonces, how para hablar, el, el all se une con el are. Por eso se oye, how old are How old are you? Entonces, muchas veces, eh, cuando uno, usted dice, mire, es que yo no, no les entiendo cuando hablan. Lo que sucede es que, igual que nosotros, cuando ya estamos hablando normalmente, o sea, nosotros no hablamos así como, hola, muy buenos días, ¿cómo está usted? No decimos, hello, good morning, how are you? No. O sea, decimos, hola, buenos días, ¿cómo está? ¿Cómo está? O sea, ni se oye cómo está, sino que cómo está. ¿Verdad? Y a veces eh, decimos, imagínense cuando dice, voy a ir a ver, pero me voy a ver. No, espéreme, voy a ir a ver, unimos todo, right? Espéreme, voy a ir a ver. Ajá, weird. El weird, ajá. Entonces, y eso existe en inglés también. El, en inglés se dice, eh, por ejemplo, se dice going to, que es voy a ir. Pero a veces en inglés dicen gonna. Y ese gonna es como decir weird. Ok. Es en gonna go. Bueno, a ver, I'm gonna go see. Entonces es lo mismo, I'm gonna go see. I'm going to go see. I'm going to go and see. Voy a ir a ver. Ok, entonces existe eso de, se llama como una, es una liazón, que es una, eh, unir las palabras por lo general cuando va una eh, vocal y una, cons una consonante y una vocal. How old are you? Teacher, Ajá. y nosotros que pensábamos que los nosotros nos salían indiadas. <risa> Se ve, pues. <risa> este, eso pasa hasta en, los en el primer mundo, pasan cosas peores. No crea. <risa> Vamos a ver. Fíjense en este otro. Va a sonar chistoso, pero. ¿A quién lee esto rápido? Okay, me levanten la mano. El que, quiera, el que quiera leer. Vamos no, a ver quién la haga. No, no, no. Bien leído, como está ahí. Ay, mi no. Ay, mi no. Casi, casi, más rápido. I'm in an office. Okay, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Esperanza, vamos a ver. I'm in an office. Pero con el micrófono encendido, Esperanza. 
Ay, mi nainofis. Más rápido. Ay, mi nainofis. No lleva el nai, no lleva el nai. Ah, ay, mi nainofis. Ay, ay, mi nainofis. No lleva el nai, no lleva el nai. Ay, mi nainofis. Casi, casi. Más rápido. Ay, mi nainofis. Ay, mi nainofis. Fíjense bien, sin, sin ay, pausa, ay. sin pausa. Ay, por favor, por Ay, mi Ay, mi nanofis. ¿Quién dijo eso? ¿Quién fue la última que habló? Ay, mi nanofis. No, no alcanzo a ver. Ay, mi nanofis. Ay, mi nanofis. Ay, mi nanofis. Ay, mi nanofis. Sin pausa. Ay, mi nanofis. Vamos a ver. Ah, vamos a ver. Eh, Ivania. Ay, mi nanofis. Ay, mi nanofis. Así es. Eh, Reina. Yes. I mean an office. Okay. Brandon. I mean an office. I mean an office. Again, otra vez. I mean an office. Okay, excellent. All right. I mean an office. ¿Y están hablando, están hablando en inglés o no? I mean an office. ¿Ah? Yes. ¿Qué dijeron? Right. ¿Qué están diciendo? I'm in an office. ¿Y qué están diciendo? Ajá, perfecto. Mire, ¿quién está diciendo eso? ¿Quién está hablando? Que ahorita no veo, porque no. Ay, mi nanofis. ¿Quién di... Pero ¿quién es el nombre? ¿Quién está hablando? Que no alcanzo a ver. Milagro. Oh, me Ay, mi milagro. Ajá, milagro. Ah, aquí está, ya la vi. Ok. Vamos a ver. Ay, mi Pero, Iris, dígalo también. Miren qué perfecto habla, habla eh, Milagro el inglés. Iris. Ay, mi nanofis. Perfecto. Aunque estoy hablando con una gringa. Ok. Va. ¿Y qué están diciendo? Ay, mi nanofis. Por eso, ¿pero qué significa? ¿Qué significa? Ajá. Yo solo entiendo nada. Yo, yo solo entiendo nada más Ay, la última bien. palabra que dice office. Va. Fíjense bien, eso es lo que usted, eso es lo que escuchamos a veces cuando hablan demasiado rápido. ¿va? Pero lo que están diciendo es esto, miren. Contracción. ¿Cómo se dice esto? ¿Cómo se dice esto? Yeah. No. I'm. 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 Ok. In. Ah, por eso dice I'm. I'm. Ok. Es lo que han dicho. Díganlo. Este Milagro, dígalo. I'm in an office. Vaya, ya ves. No me va a decir, I'm in an office. No, I'm in an office. I'm in an office. Ok, así es, así es como esta oración, esta oración acá, suena así. I'm in an office. I'm in an office. Okay. Y entonces muchas veces eso es lo que se escucha y uno dice, no le entendí nada de lo que dijo. Pero es porque no estamos acostumbrados a a la pronunciación de natural, ¿ok? De natural pronunciación. I'm in. Okay. I'm in an office. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos? Yes. Va. Entonces, eso para pronunciación. Nos queda las, las estrellas y todo eso. Y mañana vamos a... Estoy en una oficina. Ajá, estoy en la oficina. That's correct. En oficina. Eso es. I'm in an office. Estoy en una oficina. Ok. Eh, para mañana vamos, vamos a a ver eh, questions with Vicky, ya las estamos viendo ¿verdad? where are you from, how many eh, vamos a, a llenar este ejercicio luego hay un video con adjetivos luego vamos a darle una hora al ¿Cómo es que se llama? Al, al examen del midterm. Que tengan y lo puedan hacer en el fin de semana. ¿Ok? O el viernes. Ok. ¿Preguntas por el momento? No. Ok. No. Buenas preguntas me hicieron hoy. Me, o sea, las, los felicito. ¿Ok? Eh, me gusta cuando hacen este tipo de preguntas porque salimos de muchas dudas. ¿Ok? Eh, así es que seguiremos tomorrow with the class. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. 
Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. 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 Bye,